Oh, the D. Here we go, you, peop you people out there. Uh, a lot of requests for Kickapoo. I'm always, uh, you know, I love, I love Tenacious D. I watched them since, since before their movie and all that when they were on HBO. Being a musician, you know, people like turn you on to these music related things that you might like. So I saw Tenacious D way back on HBO and Jack Black definitely was on my radar at that point. I thought he was amazing. So anyway, here's the tune. There's a lot of parts in this song, so I'm just gonna teach you as much as I can and we'll see how, how far we get. The first thing we need is a D minor chord. And then we need an A minor chord. Just like that. And then it's gonna go to an F chord which I think Jables, or actually, no, I think uh, Cage, Rage Cage, plays an F on this, I think he might play an F bar chord. So you get the low bass in there, but if you want to play it this way, that's cool too. Um, and then a C chord. And then a G chord. So, so we've got, starts on D minor. And it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then A minor. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Then F. One, two, three, four. And then C. One, two, G. One, two. So check it out. That's the first section, but now what we have to do is rhythm instead of obviously down, 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 down. So then the next thing we ought to go do is and so as you're strumming we add our pinky to the third fret of the high E um, And then on the A minor, we do the same technique, but with our pinky on the third fret of the B string and our index finger on the first fret of the B string. Same idea though. And then the F, C, and G are all just normal. So when I'm doing the little embellishing, I'm just I just alternate it. But we have a lot more to cover, so anyway, that's the first part. Finally, you hit the G chord again, and then when the dragon's balls were blazing <laughs> and Jable stepped into the cage, um, we're at that section now, um, blazing balls of a dragon. So we're going to do this. We're going to do um, an A power chord, which is going to have an index finger on the fifth fret of the E and ring, ring finger on the um, seventh fret of the A. And then, you know, with acoustic power chords and all that, 
I'd add my pinky to the seventh fret of the D. The D. All right, and so we're gonna do this one, which is, when I say the fret numbers, it's where my index finger is. So we got the fifth fret, power chord. And check out that rhythm. Okay, and so then we're gonna go up to the eighth fret, so we got. Same rhythm. Then we're gonna to go to the third fret. Then the sixth fret. So we got five, eight, three, six with the same rhythm. Check it out. So after you've done that section, it holds on the A like that after you've done it two times through when he starts talking about, and the power to sound. <laughs> um, it goes like this, you know, the first time through it holds on the A. Same rhythm. Then we're gonna go to A, three, So watch, check it out. So the eight to the three split one of those ryth rhythm patterns. And then we gotta do, this is gonna be tricky rhythm wise, but we do uh, Then we take this power chord and move it next door. This is a tenacious D standard. This isn't a lot of, lot of their songs, this. So I'm alternating back and forth, and it sounds like this. But if that's tricky for you, you can go without that alternating, just. It's kind of like a Bo Diddley kind of beat there, so check it out. And the part is on. So after it does dun 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 dun, it immediately goes up to eight again. That's that next section, all right? And then uh, uh, <laughs> that kid in that movie that is Jack Black is amazing. That kid is amazing. So he even has the Jack Black baby cry sound, you know, when he gets spanked there by Meatloaf. Um, so, so now let's talk about uh, that section. The cool thing about the Meatloaf singing section uh, is it's the exact same thing as the as the the dragon's balls were blazing and his cackles and his cage um, And all that stuff. It's the exact same thing, but a whole step down. So it's three The rhythm's different. I'm going to show you something there um, But but it would be you know three up to six and then one and Then four but what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a full bar chord so we'll have, this would be a, called a G major bar chord. It's got three, five, five, four, bar to cross. Check this out. So what we do is we can take our pinky off um, and add, add a little sus four, another tenacious D classic move um, on this fifth fret of the G string like this. Um, we're just like Rolling Stones do that too. Up to six, then one, and you know maybe yes, maybe no on that fourth fret. Um, but that's gonna be, you know you could also do power chords and totally survive there um, if you just wanted to be able to play all the way through it. But basically we have this. Something. 